Hello, and welcome to another video on laboratory techniques produced by the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, iGym Team 2015. Today, we're going to be discussing how to properly use a plasmid mini prep kit to extract and purify plasmid DNA from viable cells. These plasmids can be used later for 3A assembly. You will normally use the Zymo mini prep kit to extract plasmids from overnight liquid cultures. Formerly, this kit is known as the ZR Plasmid Mini Prep Kit Classic by Zymo Research Company. First, the DNA from the liquid culture must be pelleted into a 1.7 milliliter microtube. You must do this by pelleting multiple rounds of 100 microliters because the microtubes can only hold so much volume. To pellet, simply spin down the tubes at around 15,000 Gs for a minute and discard the supernatant. Remember to label your tubes before you begin pelleting. 15,000 Gs simply stands for 15,000 times the gravitational acceleration of the Earth. Please note the following safety precautions. P1 buffer is acidic, and proper precautions should be adhered to while handling this substance. P2 buffer is strongly basic. Again, please use precaution. P3 buffer is harmful if swallowed and irritating to tissues. If any bodily contact is made with these solutions, please refer to the material safety data sheet provided with the kit. Add 200 microliters of P1 buffer to each tube in order to resuspend the pellet. Mix by pipetting and or vortexing the microtube. Next, add 200 microliters of P2 buffer and mix thoroughly. This will neutralize the solution. Incubate at room temperature for 1 to 2 minutes. Next, add 400 microliters of P3 buffer, which should be stored in a 4 degrees Celsius fridge, and mix thoroughly. Centrifuge the tubes at 15,000 Gs for 2 minutes and add the supernatant to the Zymospin 2N column. Remember to label the collection tubes before transferring the DNA. Centrifuge the mixture for 30 seconds into a collection tube. Add 200 microliters of endowash buffer and centrifuge for one minute. Then add 400 microliters of plasmid wash buffer and centrifuge for one minute. Repeat this wash step. Next, place the column into a new, clean, labeled 1.7 milliliter microtube. Add 30 microliters of USP water and incubate for five minutes. It's important that you add the water directly to the column, since we'll be working with such small quantities. Lastly, elute the DNA with the water by centrifuging for one minute. Congratulations! You now have purified plasma DNA at your disposal. You're one step closer to mastering the laboratory. Go forth and discover.